much for the reading. It's always great to hear such a great variety of people reading. I just, I sound like an idiot when I say it, but I'm interjecting the way I did before, before Richard Kent, who will be coming up next, um, by reading two periodic table poems. They will be for different elements, even from the Down in the Dirt Book of Mind Pebbles. That's my brain is filled with them. I don't know. <laughs> um, but there are reasons to have different pieces in this. First one is for the table, periodic table element for bismuth. And it's a short guy, just over a page. Uh, and I thought, it, I hope you guys like it. Um, it not only appears in Mind Pebbles, but it also appears in the periodic table of poetry. Yeah, you guys hear my advertising, and this is the crazy stuff I do. Anyway, this poem is titled Bismuth. I heard NASA scientists say that Albert Einstein dismissed some of his theories. That Einstein didn't like some of his theories because they thought they weren't beautiful. And it makes me wonder, what is beauty? Is it how the silver pink hue of bismuth tarnishes into an iridescent oxide, refracting colors from soothing pink to bright yellow to a deep blue? <laughs> I, Einstein believed, quote, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all art and science. And scientifically, no other metal is more naturally diamagnetic than bismuth. I, I, I know, I know, bismuth is diamagnetic, and it's not the magnetism of bismuth that causes the aurora borealis from the Earth's magnetic field, but trust me, from what I've seen, no other element can naturally produce such an awe-inspiring step-stair crystal. So we ask, what is beauty? They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So, it makes me wonder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was done in a show that I'm trying to remember the name of. It was Mega Reading. That was at an art colony. So, that's just shots of me during my reading. You know, they're just photos. You know, photos during the reading. Um, when I was so much of a lot that I didn't even have a tablet, but I had a notebook that was holding all my poems. But anyway, the other one that I wanted to share with you is also in Mind Pebble so I've got to turn the page haha, to show up because when they are Twitter length poems that also appear in the periodic table, yeah, Twitter versus periodic table poetry book, they might come off as images that appear on Instagram and all over on social media. You can see the crazy picture here, but it's so hard to see and I'll show it to you in color. Um, this is for phosphine. This is for uh, a pho this is a I, this is what happens when people send me stuff, I can do this. This is phosphine for Venus. Virility versus Vulcanism. And if you're a Star Trek fan, I didn't say Vulcanism. V-U-L-V-O. Vulcanism. <laughs> Scientists claim hard evidence with phosphine in Venus's clouds that Venus hosts life. Check your premises, some say. Phosphine clouds from volcanoes are active on Venus. And phosphine on Earth, it's biosignature gas made by living organisms. But on Venus, volcanism kills all of life's virility. It was amazing the things I got to learn about the elements when I was going to, I'm trying to show it off for people in the meeting and try to show it off for the live feed. It's also available online to be able to check it off. Phosphine for Venus, Relative versus Volcanism. And I got to read last year for the poetry bomb outside of Circle Brewing, but when I read these for Periodic Table Poems in 2022, I read them as well, which is why you've got shots of me checking out my period. And of course, Gonna have to have filter and effects of different things for or whatever, but there's my interjection of periodic table stuff. You're, I'm done with the periodic table stuff. You don't have to hear any of my mind pebbles any longer or my periodic table poems. So I hope that Richard can't, now that I've just battled on long enough, you will be ready to read for us and I would love to hear your poetry. If you are ready, my darling, take it away.